Hello student, in this lecture we shall discuss basic aspects of a check. First of all, definition of check. According to section 6, Negotiable Instrument Act, a check is a demand bill of exchange and check is drawn on a specific bank and it is payable to order and bearer. So these are three important features of a check. Basically it is a demand bill of exchange and this can be drawn on a specific bank. This means drawing of a check can be bank only, no one else. In a normal bill of exchange anyone can be dry including a bank. But in case of check, only bank can be dry. The third important aspect, check can be made payable to order or bearer. Permissory note, bill of exchange, demand draft. There is a restriction that they cannot be made payable to bearer. But that restriction of section 31 RBI Act is not applicable on check. Hence, the check can be made payable to bearer also and it can be made payable to order also. In a check, if both the words are written, order is also written, bearer is also written. In that situation, the check will be treated payable to bearer. If None of this is written. Order is also not written. Bearer is also not written. In that case, the check will be treated payable to order. So, if dono likhe ho, order, bearer, dono, then usko treat kiya jayega payable to bearer. Or agar dono mein se kuch nahi likha jaye, then it will be paid as order check. Now, types of checks. According to section 6, there are three types of checks. So these three types of checks are number one paper check, number two electronic image of a truncated check, we call it a truncated check and third one is electronic check. So according to section six where check has been defined, three types of checks are there. One is paper check, Second one is truncated check and third one is electronic check. Now payment on the basis of any of these checks will be considered as a payment in due course if otherwise in order. So payment can be made by banks on the basis of paper checks, on the basis of truncated checks, on the basis of electronic checks. So in law all these three checks are equal. Now, what is a truncated check? Friends, truncated check is a paper check which is retained by the collecting bank or clearing house in the process of collection of payment. In other words, the physical movement of the check is stopped. So, drawer issues a paper check. This is handed over to pay. Pay hands over this check to the collecting bank. Collecting bank keeps, retains this check with itself. Instead, it sends a scanned image to paying bank, to the dry bank and dry bank makes payment on the basis of this scanned image authenticated by the collecting bank. So this paper check is called truncated check. The collecting bank, as I said, collects the payment by generating scanned image of paper check and it adds its own electronic signature to that for authentication purpose. So this type of check is called truncated check. What is electronic check? Electronic check is exact mirror image of the paper check. So scanned image of a paper check which is generated, written and signed by the drawer 
in a secure payment system with an electronic signature and a symmetric crypto system so that is called electronic check simple shabdon mein hum ye keh sakte hain paper check ka scanned image jise drawer apne electronic signature se authenticate karta hai that is called electronic check now इलेक्ट्रॉनिक चेक इट हैज टू कीज जब भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर करने हैं देन इसके दो एलिमेंट्स हैं देर आर टू कीज वन इज कॉल्ड प्राइवेट की द प्राइवेट की इज यूज फॉर साइनिंग पर्पज एंड अदर वन इज पब्लिक की पब्लिक की इज यूज फॉर वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ द सिग्नेचर प्राइवेट की इज कैप्ट सीक्रेट वेयर एज पब्लिक की इज डिस्कलोज so this is electronic check now let us see format of a check friend format of a check has not been prescribed in law negotiable instrument act mein check ke format ko prescribe nahi kiya hua so format which banks were using earlier that was just a practice but the format which banks are using right now as a cts check so that is approved by reserve bank of india under its cts 2010 regulations so earlier there was no prescribed by there was no prescribed format and now the cts check its design has been approved by rbi and one thing we should note from 1st january 2014 banks are supposed to allow use of cts s checks only check truncation standards checks only now types of checks from date point of view taking into consideration the date of a check the checks can be of different types the first one is ante dated check ante dated check is a check where date written on the check is a past date so check is presented for payment today but date written is a past date so such check is an ante dated check check written on january 26 is dated january 10 2016 so this is ante dated check an ante dated check is a valid mandate of the customer and it shall be paid it shall be paid whenever it is presented but here the payment shall be made within the validity period and validity will be seen here for example from this date and not from this date if date is earlier to date of opening the account still the check will be paid for example this check is written on january 26 it is dated january 10 but account was opened on january 20th so this check will be paid so ante dated check even when date is earlier to date of opening the account so that check sh- 